Hey everyone, Shaver1000 here. So I got another episode of the caught on security camera stuff. This one has a backstory, so I gotta kinda explain it to you. Cause I know somebody commented on my last one. Too much talking. Go straight to the video or something like that. And I'm like, you know what? Then shut up, you know what I mean? So I told him, well, apparently you're too stupid to figure out that you can you know, actually fast forward through that. But if I don't give you the backstories, a lot of times, you know, then, then my haters would be going, well, you need, I don't know what's going on. What happened? What is it? You know, and so anyway, but this needs to be explained. Um, so, you know, we got a nurse that comes in for her mom and he wraps her legs with these things that keeps the water down or whatever that's in her legs. So he comes once a week, once a week and wraps her legs. Well, they couldn't find the wraps because the wraps get delivered here. Well, they couldn't find them. I was outside by the garage door and uh, working on a project. And uh, I seen her open up the garage door because I had it closed so the animals won't get out. And uh, so I asked her, I said, are you looking for something? And she said, yeah, she's looking for the wraps. So I took my gloves off and I came in and I said, well, I'm not sure where they would be. It turned out they were right over here. But anyway, you know, um, I said, I'm not sure where they're at. <clears throat> and this guy's looking, looking around here, just nib shitting really. And so he, so he, um, yeah, he's asking what's in this box over here. These are papers. You sure they're not in that, in that box? No, these, you know, they're personal files. And um, and she said, well, her mom said something like, uh, you'll hear it in the video, said something like, um, you know, well, I knew she didn't put them in my room. And the first thing he says, you want me to go look for you? No, you know. So anyway, you'll see, like just a few seconds after that, well, I step in the garage. I'm getting ready to message Monkey to ask where they are. And... Um, you know, and you, you get that feeling someone's there. And I look up, he's looking over my shoulder at my phone in the garage. You'll see him, he goes, walks right in the garage. I'm like, what the? So I move over and he moves over and he's starting to look through stuff in the garage. And I'm pushing him, pushing his arms away and there's a couple boxes in there. And um, he actually pushed me aside to try to grab these two boxes. And I said, no, they're not in here. And he said, well, what about that Medline box? I said, no, that's that's personal stuff. Get the fuck out of the garage. I had to tell him three times. Finally, you'll hear me say, get out of the garage. You know, and then he comes out with this attitude. Oh, just try and help. What kind, what's, you know, who has the audacity to do that? You know, I mean, it, take a look at the clip. I don't see anything here in my room. Let me go look here. I will know right away if I see the box. Oh, no, nothing. How about that midline? What is that in there? Huh? That midline box. That's not it. Okay, okay. Just come down. Okay, well, go in the car. I'm asking her right now. Okay. Just want to help, you know. See what I mean? Just walks right in, you know, like he owns the place. He parks right, right in, right in the front yard. The boat's in the driveway now, but even when it wasn't, he wouldn't pull in the driveway. He pulls right up in the damn yard. Monkey has told him, quit parking in the yard. You know, we got a leech bed there. I have told him, please quit parking in the yard. He still just pulls right up in the yard, parks in the yard just like he owns the damn place. What kind of unmitigated gall? You know, I mean, he's here to wrap her legs, not to help us look for something, not to rummage through people's stuff, not to go in their bedroom looking around. You know, a cop can't do that. You know, a cop needs a damn you know, search warrant. You don't come in here rummaging through our stuff. I don't care who you are. 
you know, some of you guys might say, well, he's a nurse. What would he do? Well, look at all the cops, you know, getting fired and stuff or stealing and making false reports. I don't care who you are. You don't come in my garage looking over my shoulder to see who I'm messaging, rummaging through stuff. I mean, you just don't do that. So what this is, I just want you guys to be aware. You know, if you have somebody coming in, whether it be a contractor, a nurse, a doctor. I mean, I put the camera up in here because her doctor, her doctor's first visit, she never showed up and she said she did. Well, so, um, no, it wasn't the first visit. It was, it was her second visit because the first visit, she said, because I was here and her mom told her she needed uh, another prescription. And she said, okay, I'll get that out to you. And she never did. And then she says, you know, she never told me that or I would have wrote her a prescription. That was a lie because I heard her say, all right, I'll get you a prescription. She never did. Second time, she never showed up. Monkey said, what time was you here? She told her what time. So I went in, checked, checked the cameras for out front. And... Um, <clears throat> I checked 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after, so I checked a whole hour. Stood in there and watched this for a whole hour and she never showed up and she said she did. So she's a liar, you know. So that's when I started, alright, we'll, we'll just put cameras up in here too. And, you know, I mean, why? Why Why would you do that? You know, you don't follow somebody in their garage, you don't look over their shoulder, you're here to do one thing and it's damn, damn sure not, I'll help you find something. No. I didn't invite you in my garage, you know, and, he, and plus, and he wanted to go into mom's bedroom to look for something. No, no. I mean, what's next? You know, does he want to go out in the shed? I mean, would he like it if I went out to his piece of shit Mustang and started rummaging through something? I'm just trying to help you look for something. You know, you don't do that in people's houses, but I just want you to be aware, no matter whether it's doctor, nurse, contractors, or anything like that, you know, you have to be safe and keep an eye on people. Because they do stuff like that. And, you know, like Monkey said, well, you know, they get used to it and some of them are pushy. It doesn't matter. I mean, when you're nudging me out of the way in my own garage so you can touch my stuff? No. No, I don't care who you are. You're not invited in that garage, you know. And, you know, you just don't, there's no excuse whatsoever. You know, this is ass nine. No excuse whatsoever. Uh, well, they get pushy. But, you know, I'm about to push his ass out of here. What if he knocks something over and breaks it and makes a mess? Then what? We got to clean it up and then we're out, you know, whatever he broke. What if he, what if he falls and gets hurt? Then he's going to sue us for his medical bills and pain and suffering and shit. I never told him to go in that garage. I never invited him in that garage. He don't need to be in that garage. He don't need to be in mom's bedroom, our bedroom, bathroom, anywhere. Right here in the living room is the only place he's supposed to be. And he, you know... That's just all there is to it. So keep an eye out, guys, if you have people coming over. So anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. <clears throat> Enjoy the rest of your week. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye and take care.